Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, sorry I haven't put out a video in a while. It's been almost two weeks. I have been busy, plus I have been a little sick as well. I had a, I guess it was, I don't know if it was the flu, but um, had some coughing and all that. and So I didn't really feel like doing much. Didn't feel like doing uh, much talking and all that stuff, but anyway, that's where I've been. Anyway, so today is something very, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I got the chance to go to um, see Travis Tritt li live in concert, uh, and I'm not going to play music from him, don't worry, for those of you who don't like country. Uh, but there is something I'm going, I wanted to share with you that he shared with us while we were there. And of course, I can't play the music anyway because of our fellow friends here at YouTube. They would have a fit and probably ban the video <clears throat> because of copyright. But anyway. So, anyway... Not going to take up too much time. Just wanted to share something with you that I thought was really cool. Uh, when uh, we were there, he shared this story with us. And I just kind of wanted to add it here. So that you all <coughs> could enjoy it as well. And so this is it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, sorry if the quality is not very good i recorded it with my phone um so the the audio is great i played it back and the audio is great it's just the you know the lighting kind of doesn't really look good because of the fact of the lights that they had there at the deal and my phone as well so hopefully it's not too bad hopefully you can you know um still um Still get, you know, get all of it uh, and enjoy it. Um, if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. And just wanted to share this little story with you that Travis shared with us. Hope you enjoy it. Here it is. In an actual veterans clinic down in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And they told me several weeks before we even started working on it, they said, everybody in the video, with the exception of you, Travis, and, and about three or four other actors, everybody else in the video are going to be actual veterans that are either patients or staff people. at this veterans clinic. And it, I knew it was going to be something special and I was excited. But at the same time, I was also nervous about it. And I, I'll tell you the reason why I was nervous. I never served in the military myself. And I was afraid that all these actual veterans were going to look at me and say, hmm, who does this guy think he is trying to play one of us when he's never served before? And I was very concerned about that, right up until the morning that we actually started to shoot this video. And I'll never forget it as long as I live. I walked into the gymnasium of this veterans clinic and they had a wheelchair there for me to sit down in to play this part of this disabled vet. And all the cameras were around. As soon as I sat down in that chair, I found myself surrounded by about 20 or 30 of these veterans that were patients at this veterans clinic. And I found out very, very quickly that they did not hate me at all. As a matter of fact, they were glad that somebody was there to tell their story. And before the day was over, I knew every single one of them by their first names. They, when we weren't filming or weren't shooting, they told me very personal, amazing, 
private stories about battles that they had fought in and how they had been injured. And no matter how bad any of their injuries were, every one of them said the same thing to me. They said, Travis, if we ever had a chance to do it, we would do it all over again. So a few weeks later, when we finished up the editing on the video, we brought it back to that St. Veterans Clinic to debut it for the press and for the world. But more importantly, we wanted to debut it in front of all these veterans that had helped us make it possible in the first place. And as the video played on a big screen, on a big stage, actually bigger than this, that night, I was sitting off to the side and I wasn't looking at the video screen. I was, as the video played, I was just looking out into the audience. And as I looked out into the crowd that night, I did not see one person that wasn't emotionally moved. As a matter of fact, I don't think I saw one person that night that didn't have a little bit of a tear rolling down their cheek before it was all over with. And that really touched my heart. It touched me so much that when I got back home to my home state of Georgia, I called my senators and my congressmen and I said, listen, I know that I'm just a country music singer and there may not be a whole lot that I can do. But if there's any way that I can use my voice or my platform to help in some small way with veterans issues or veterans in this country, I would like to raise my hand and volunteer for that. And as a result of that phone call, I was very privileged and very honored to have the opportunity to serve as the celebrity chairman and the celebrity spokesperson for the Disabled American Veterans Association for four years in a row. And after that four years was over, I had the chance to serve for two more years in that same capacity with a group called the VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars. I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that six year period was one of the greatest times of my life. Because not only did I get a chance to travel all over these United States and play shows in almost every single state in the union during that six year period. But everywhere that I went for that period of time, if I played within 125 miles or so of a veterans clinic or a veterans hospital or even a military base, I had a chance to get up early that morning before the show that night and travel out and sit down and shake hands with and talk with and get to know all of these men and women that if you looked up the word hero in the dictionary, you should see their faces next to that word because that's what they are, the hero. So I said all that just to say this. For any man or woman here tonight that has ever worn the uniform of any branch of our United States military, or any man or woman here tonight that happens to be currently serving, in our United States military, protecting the freedoms that all of us in this country enjoy. I have a message for you and I have a message for your families as well, because as far as I'm concerned, in my mind, if you serve, I know for a fact that your families, first of all, they worry and they pray and they sacrifice. They sacrifice time, they miss being with the person that's serving during Christmases and Thanksgivings and New Year's days and birthdays and anniversaries and all these different holidays that they miss out on. And so they sacrifice time and in a lot of cases, they sacrifice a whole lot more than that. They sacrifice their lives. So, my message to all of you that have served and that are currently serving, and even those of you that will serve in the future, 
from the bottom of my heart, and I've never meant anything more than what I'm about to say, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your service. You are the best in the world. May God always bless you. May God always bless your families. And may God always bless the United States of America.